Okay, in this video, we're gonna test out the Jackery Explorer 1000 to see how long it will power a basic standard sound system. So just a quick disclaimer, I am not paid by Jackery to do this video whatsoever at all. I have certain events where I need to run like 175 feet of extension cord and it gets to be really annoying really quick. Sometimes it's just a simple microphone to speaker setup. So I thought there's gotta be something out there and you know, this tons of different versions of these, right? So I just grabbed this one because it had great reviews and people said how wonderful it was, but no one really actually reviewed like how it actually works for this type of application. So that's what this is gonna do. We have a Behringer XR18 right here next to me. And there is a four channel wireless microphone handheld system. Uh, I'm gonna power it on, but I'm not really going to actually be using the microphone system at all. I have an iPod here that I'm going to play through the sound system and also charge on the Jackery. There will be a wireless router also being powered in the, in the rack with the XR18, as well as a Bluetooth receiver that I won't be using for this demonstration, but it's in there and it's powered on. There's also an amp right here, a 1500 watt Crest Audio amp that's gonna drive my sub. I only have one sub today. The other one is away and uh, I just couldn't get it in time for this little video. So that's going to be running. I have two Mackie Thump 15A speakers that are also being run through this unit. So everything is being powered through this right here. We're just going to turn everything on. Right now you might not be able to see but it's at 100%. We're going to hit play on some music. We're going to let it play at about a medium volume, half volume. And then when it dies, it dies. And I want to see how long it'll last. So stay tuned. Not exactly sure when this died. This played today from 12.45 p.m. and now it is 7.45 and somewhere between 6.45 and 7.45 it died. So that means somewhere in that six to seven hour mark it died. So I gotta say I am really impressed. I ran the iPod so that's completely charged up. I actually this was run to the camera that I did the recording with so that was completely charged up. 
and then the other two cables were run to the mixer with the power distribution and also the speaker that's kind of farther away from this unit. I'm real impressed. You have a three hour wedding uh, or you have something where you need some sound and you can't run an extension cord or you don't want to run 200 feet of extension cord. It fits under that seven hour mark. Yeah, I think this will work out great. The next thing would be to try it with an actual full band pumping more sound through it and utilizing probably more wattage. We'll see what that will be like. So hope you enjoyed it.